I, um, <clears throat> that, that's something that you've never seen before. I'm gonna bring my t-shirt down. There we go, fix it up. Look a bit more. Ooh, I just hit my mic. Just for like, there, respectable. Um, sometimes I look at the footage when I'm editing and I'm like, oh, my shirt's all crinkled. It makes me, because I try not to look at the monitor that's above the camera. Anyway, I popped. That's the first time you've heard me do, you've heard me bada bing and all this sort of stuff, but my poor wife has to put up with all my sound effects. And sometimes if I'm looking at an iPad <clears throat> and I'm flicking through, <laughs> my wife, if she's watching this, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's... So if I'm flicking through things, I'll, I'll go. <coughs> Everything's got a sound effect. And, and she asks me, does everything need to have a sound effect? Yes, is the short answer. Yes, it does. I hope you have an awesome drink in front of you. Mine is mate. Last week I asked everyone, can you, you know, please put into your, um, as you put in the comment, put in brackets, what is it that you're drinking? And the reason why? We're going scientific, baby. So what I wanna do is have a look at, um, well, I'm just curious to know what is everybody drinking around the world as you're watching Mate Talk. Eventually, so this, there's a mission here, because eventually I want to sway the world and we're all drinking Mate together. Like, <laughs> I always think about that, um, that one scene in, um, Spongebob, where, anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> For those who've seen Spongebob, like, what scene's that? It's, the, you know, with the chum buckets on their head. That's when, you know, they hail, hail, plankton. So, you know, it's where all, all hail, mate. Excuse me. Mm. People tell me not to excuse myself as I drink mate, but I can't help it because I'm taking your time to drink my mate. I don't know, it just feels weird. You know? So, anyway. So you can see that uh, two people were drinking mate, myself, so my vote will always be in there, and Kevin. So thank you, bro. We're, uh, we're uh, holding up the, the, uh, the mate. Um, the popular one was water, but a lot of people didn't write in. And I, maybe you weren't drinking anything. I would love for you to pause right now, go get yourself a drink. Water's a good choice if you don't have any mate. And uh, sit here uh, with us and enjoy this mate talk together. Got a big mate talk today. It's uh, a lot of different subjects. And a lot of these subjects, just so you know, if you are new to mate talk, what is this about? This is a very informal way of us sharing without being in the same room together, all right? But you ask me a question, give me ideas. Uh, I then, you know, start thinking of, you know, uh, I guess things that might be of interest to you. I've had a lot of talk on one particular subject and I'm gonna share with you, you've probably seen in the thumbnail what it is, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this particular subject, which is something that's very close to my heart, something that I love. Um, but the other things that I'd like to talk about is, have a look at this. This is our new website. So I had to think, because I'm like, I didn't finish up, so let me go back a bit. Didn't finish on the drinks. They were down the bottom where you can see that it says unique, in fact, these are drinks that rather than make, you know, like a, like a, the spreadsheet that's this big. Uh, so under unique, we had one subscriber who was actually having bean water. I've never tasted bean water before. I get an idea what it might be. And another person was drinking tomato soup. Both excellent choices. I look forward to one day tasting bean water from for some reason. I think bean water should have some spices in it. I'm thinking like cracked pepper, a bit of salt. I don't know if, that, if that's the case. Um, but anyway, bean water was one. Uh, the winner was clearly water. So I'd love to know, please put in your comments, in bracket, what you're drinking. You don't have to explain what you're drinking. And then, and that way I'll tally up next week. We'll do it again, end of the month. We'll see what is winning when it comes to drinking your drink from around the world while we watch Mate Talk together. All right, let me show you this again. Sorry, boom. So this is the new website. Been talking about this. Oh, by the way, it's my fifth, fifth. It's our second anniversary. Uh, the, the, the channel celebrated on the 5th of February, two years. I'm two years old, baby. Um, and so it's pretty exciting to, um, well, to hit this milestone. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, there are some big things that are planned out. I'm, I'm doing like a, like a soft, like a, a soft birthday party to start off with. Uh, there will be some other things that we'll do deeper in, but right now I'm gearing up for the visit to Italy. So right now, the only thing in my is obviously the immediate work that I have with my existing business, um, but also preparing for the big uh, trip to Italy. And I'll talk, talk a little bit more about that in a second. 
So for, I guess, all preparations for this second year doing what we're doing, uh, one of them was this direction of creating more of experiences, events, connections with all of you around the world. And the website was one of those key things that I wanted to uh, make sure that this was sort of um, dovetailing in with this, this direction. You'll see that there are three specific areas, one of them being events. Uh, if you go to, look, I'm not gonna go into in a lot of detail. I'll talk about it more next week. So if you'd like to have a look at some of the merchandise we have, uh, then by all means, there are more things that are being in development right now. So this merchandise will also increase. And then the last one is the experiences. Now these are uh, bespoke hosted events. So the idea behind this is that, yes, it's an, an opportunity for me to hang out with you guys, but this is now, these are heightened perfume experiences that I want to create. I mean, if you scroll down to here, when I'm doing a tease, this is something huge, as my granddaughter would say, huge. Something huge that we're planning. The, I guess the driving force is Kevin, oligarch and myself. And so we're creating something that is going to be huge. Um, uh, actually, just a side note on that. I'm actually going to be in Paris. So part of this Italy trip was a last minute thing. And it was all it's so I'm, I'm going to, to Paris as a bit of a reconnaissance ready for this September experience that we're building um, just to make sure that everything is like, excuse me. So the one that's coming up now, and it's now all settled, is the Exxon's Milan experience. This will happen on Saturday, the 1st of April. You can have a look at all the details here. As I mentioned, that what I've been saying up until now is that it's a full bottle of perfume. So it's a 100 ml bottle from either Mel Fushuni, Paris Monte Carlo, or Boyce 1920. Um, there are only five spots, so I just need to give everybody a heads up on that. So in euros, it's about 250 euros. Uh, so you'll see that when you cost it all out, it's gonna be, uh, it's, I'm trying to make it um, as attractive as possible because I want you guys to be with me in Exxon's. I actually want to walk through Exxon's with you guys. I remember I went there last year and the, the place is enormous. It's a little bit overwhelming in, in all honesty. So the idea is I want to walk you to key distributors or key perfumers, some stuff that is super exciting. There's already a number of brands that I've reached out to that I'm looking forward to, new brands that have come out that uh, the idea is for me to show you around and that way you can have a look at. If you like niche perfumery, this is going to be an awesome experience. Afterwards, we'll enjoy a meal together. Have a look at these videos. <laughs> I did these when I was in um, in Milan last year. I ate at this uh, place. I'll, I'll put the link below to the actual uh, venue that we're going to go to eat, uh, and, and then afterwards we're going to enjoy a gelato together. So, five spots there. I would be awesome to uh, to experience this with you guys. Let me move on. Excuse me first. Have a look at this awesome man. This is Michael. Michael, for those who have watched the rest of the development. Michael is a local man and uh, he is, yeah, he's a wonderful supporter. I appreciate everything you do, Michael. I appreciate the support on the channel. The, um, so he knows Oligarch, knows Kevin really well, and uh, we organize a day to, to go to Oligarch and um, have a chance to, to talk about all things perfume, basically. Uh, this is Michael's fragrance cabinet. And when he showed this to me on the day, of, I asked him, could I well, share this with everyone on Mate Talk? But I just love this collection. I mean, I love seeing other, other people's perfumes and the things that they're drawn to. Uh, and anyway, I just saw this, I saw the setup and it just, anyway. So this is Michael, Michael's awesome collection. He was kind enough also, the, Michael is, of his, I guess his heritage is Sri Lankan. He bought some Sri Lankan food. Let me just say, that um, Kevin, when it comes to spice, is a lightweight. I love you, man, but I had three of these little empanadas, three, maybe four, uh, of these empanadas. They were, they were spicy, that nice little kick to them, but just beautiful. So thank you, Michael. Appreciate you, um, you sharing that with us and also for, um, for catching up. It was awesome. Now, I had this question come through from Juan. Now, Juan, he... So I've had this question raised before, 
and that is for those who may have missed the uh, review or the episode that I did on Tony Iommi. Now I'm just gonna so before I begin and before I say anything, let me just tell you, let me temper what I'm about to share with you, and that is, if you want objectivity, if you want, um, if you want objectivity, if you want a balanced review, don't listen to this. So you stop now. Go find somewhere else where they're gonna talk about Tony Iommi, because I am and. I'm gonna, as I, as I said, I'm being honest here. I'm a self-confessed complete fanboy to this fragrance. I cannot stop talking about it. I cannot stop. I mean, I, I even carry it in my satchel, and uh, when if I know if I'm going to see some people, I'll carry it in my satchel. And after I say hello to them, I say, "Have you smelled this before?" <laughs> like, what are you? Uh, and yeah, I'm 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 Tony Yomi pusher. I'm I'm that guy. So, I just. I don't know what it is that I'm so enamored, but I'm, I'm, it's almost to the point that I'm a little bit addicted. It's, it's now, and I've recognized it myself, I'm a little bit on the, I can't stop wearing this fragrance place. And for me, if I wear a fragrance for three days in a row, it's almost like I've got a temperature. I'm like, what's going on? I really should go to, to emergency, go to the hospital. So this is a fragrance I've been wearing for more than three days in a row. And when I wear it, it makes me like so happy. It makes me just, I don't know, it's so happy. Anyway, the question was, and I've heard this question before, Juan put it into the comments, and that is, if you've got Herod, and I don't have Herod, this is only a sample of it, but if you have Herod by um, Perfect Bali, then is this like redundant? Like is it, I mean, are they both the same fragrance? And I thought this is awesome. Oh, I'm actually gonna do a test. Have a look at this. This is my son doing a blind test. And the reason for that, and I, and look, and I sprung it on him. So I am not ambushed him, but I definitely am, I sprung it on, on him on the day. So he was getting ready for bed. I sent him a text. I said, do you mind if I come over? I got something that I need you to smell. He has an awesome, he's a really, he's really good with perfume. He's got an awesome sense of smell and he can distinguish things really well. So I said to him, I'd love you to, I've got two perfumes I want you to smell and a lot of the things that he said I completely mirror I, I experienced it the same way I did it again today so I did this over two days so I prior to actually doing this test with my son I had done it before then I did the test with my son and I did it again today so I just want to make sure that I'm consistent in my views here and also you know that I'm not being that I'm not being completely uh, uh, just bias, I guess, you know, like, you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm the Tony Yomi pusher guy. On this hand is Herod. Sprayed earlier and, and I sprayed them five minutes apart. So the, the, the dry down, the opening notes are very, you know, would be around the same sort of time. So this is my findings. On first spray, I find that Herod gives me, a, does have a fruit note, similar to a Tony Yomi, but the fruit note that I get is apple-like. My son actually said it was, he, he felt that it smelled a bit pessimist like so that um, pessimist that the, that fruit, which also is like apple, pear, has that sort of kind of, sort of vibe to it. It was pretty distinct. Then, and it's almost like when my son was smelling it, was start, so if you look at, if you read the interior of this, it was literally like he was reading the interior because then he said, oh, I can smell a bit of vanilla, a bit of caramel, um, and now, oh, I can get a little bit of the tobacco earthiness. And, and, and he's sort of naming these things one by one. I find that, I found the same thing. I found that where the fragrance started is what the fragrance is. It came down from the vanillas a little bit. That apple or that fruit note also pulled back a little bit. I don't feel that it's very, so Herod, I don't feel it's very tobacco earthy. Now, and let me just say this before I go any further. Already some people are going, you know, they're, they're sharpening their knives. I know that Herod is a big hitter. I know that a lot of people love it. Um, so I'm not saying anything is wrong with this fragrance. It's not one in my collection. So just to being completely transparent, completely honest, and again, being completely transparent, completely um, being honest, I am a fanboy of this. So I take whatever I'm saying here with a grain of salt. The experiment is, if you have this, does this become redundant? My short answer is no, two different fragrances, and these are the reasons why. So I just wanted to, that was like a quick footnote, just to make sure, you know, those people who are sharpening knives, um, I'm just giving you my, my thoughts on here. So anyway, back to here, rewind, <laughs> back to this. Uh, I don't find that it was very earth-like. I also found that after maybe three hours, four hours, my, and my son felt the same way. It could be the fact that we're only using a tester. 
and not the full bottle. I was also very careful not to spray because with the tester, I sprayed twice to give me a good sort of spread. With Tony, it has an awesome sprayer. And so I was very careful not to do a big spray, just a little spray so that it's competing. I was trying to do, you know, apples with apples scenario. Uh, but I, anyway, I found that uh, the Herod gave me probably about four hours at the max, five hours. So even now, so it's been, since I sprayed this, probably about an hour and already it's coming off. I am getting the tobacco, I'm getting slight fruits in there. The vanilla is still there, but it's come down. But as I said, what I, what I experienced in the start is definitely what I'm experiencing all the way through. Now there's Tony. Tony's a lot deeper in the dry down. I'm getting more of the patchouli coming through. I'm getting that caramel vanilla vibe to it, a slight fruit note. I find, and this is interesting when my son tested, the moment he, so when he sprayed Herod, he was breaking down the notes, bing, boom, 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 boom. He sprayed then Tony and he literally went, oh, mm, and I should have filmed this so that you know that I'm not just making stuff up. But he went, oh, ooh, hang on a second. Oh, I'm getting, no, I'm, I'm getting this, but no, I'm getting that. I'm getting a fruit note, but I don't know what it is. I'm like, ooh, there's, and then he's like, oh, there's a slight booze. No, is there booze or not booze? It was, and, and I said this in my review, I find that this is exceptionally complex. And even, have a look at that one part where I've got the bottle and all these different notes are emerging, coming out and coming in. That is the fragrance. That's how this fragrance behaves. On the opening, you are getting this rum-like boozy note coming through with a fruit note. I know now that it's passion fruit, so my brain says passion fruit. Only later in the, in the dry down, and the same thing happened to my son as it started to come off a little bit. He's then going, oh, actually, it smells a bit passion fruity. So he was getting that fruit note. He was able to, but on the, on the opening, you're just getting a, like a fruity kind of vibe. There, he's like, I, I'm picking up a slight leather tone. Yeah, the leather comes in, but then it folds back down. Uh, so there's all these things that are happening. It takes a while to be where I am now. So it's an hour later for it now to be in this earthy, patchouli, warm, kind of woody, but ambery. You're talking to the wrong guy, all right? If you want to know not to buy this, you don't talk to me because, I'm, yeah. If you have this, you can comfortably get this. This is two different fragrances. Um, yeah, uh, but again, I am the Tony Iomi fanboy. I hope I get a plaque from Tony going, thanks my man. Uh, because I, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's a good fragrance. All right, boom, bing, boom, let me move on. I, um, I posted this on my Insta page. I'm going from I'm going from one from one fanboy to the next, and that is Alessandro Galtieri. Uh, I do love, and I look. Let me go backwards. I posted this black Afghano, awesome fragrance. A number of comments came in. Thank you guys for uh, putting your comments. Two of them popped. One of them was Vera from Singapore. Vera, actually, Vera is coming to Melbourne. I'm, I'm, I, and Vera, hand on my heart, I am sad that I'm not going to be around. I, I was looking forward to catching up with you at Oligarch. Um, but anyway, the, uh, anyway we'll, our paths will cross again, I'm sure of it. Uh, so Vera wrote the comment that it was, and I know I've had a few people actually uh, say this to me, which I'm, I'm very appreciative of, and that is that, um, that through my reviews and I guess my, my love and appreciation for all things Alessandro and his two brands, Naso Mato and Orto Parisi, that I've, I guess, sh shown this or shared this love with others and others have actually now sort of jumped on in. So uh, I'm excited to, I guess, to, to be the mascot, you know, to be the guy. Um, then uh, this comment came through and the question was that I should be the face of it. I don't know if Alessandro would actually be interested in that, uh, being that he is the face of it and mind you, his face is a lot more um, recognizable than, than, than this thing. Uh, but yeah, I thought, you know what? I like the thought that I'm the, 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 the little drum boy <laughs> when it comes to all things Nasomato and Orto Parigio, Alessandro Galtieri. So what I thought today, and I did this similar sort of um, breakdown for some Zerjos, what I'd like to do is give you some my recommendations. If you're new to Nasomato, let's start with Nasomato. Orto Parisi are a lot more punchy, a lot more uh, animalic in its, in its profile. I find that the Nasomatos are 
very unique, very complex. Um, not that the Orto Parisis are not, but Orto Parisis were designed to be just like, you know, he wanted these to be statement makers. Whereas I find that the Nasomato range can be very subtle. The only thing, and this is a rule across all of them, don't overspray. Three sprays, more than enough. Even if you think, this one's not doing much, I can't, you know, just trust me that three sprays is more than enough. You'll find that these are subtly prevalent, strong fragrances. These are, they, they, they're, they're just beautifully complex. Three sprays is enough, and you'll find that they will take you 12 plus hours. And you'll wake up in the morning, you will be smelling these particular fragrances. So for new recruits, if you're brand new, this is where I would recommend you begin. And not in any particular order. So you, any of these three that I'm about to share with you, I would strongly recommend to you. First one is Silver Musk. Silver Musk is the classic musk fragrance, all synthetic, it's synthetic base. So there are no animal derived ingredients in here. This is all stuff that, uh, and I even think that some of the ingredients in here, some of the musks ingredients, is that Alessandro has created himself, all right? So uh, it's a very soft, very subtle, but just, uh, and have a look at my review, I talk about how this is your fragrance. It becomes you. This is the smell of you, and, and that's absolutely true. Very easy to, to walk into very easy to appreciate, and the power that this fragrance has is phenomenal. So I would recommend that one to you. Another one in the new recruits, and I would actually, if anything, I would start with this one if you want something that is quite pronounced and makes a statement, it's Baraonda. Awesome fragrance. My nephew, who has moved in, so he's a young man, I think he's just hitting his 20s, he's come across from designers, he's actually bought himself a few aromatic fragrances, and he came to my office for a little while back and he said, give me something different. And I knew that, no, I can't push him too far away. Oh, actually, that's him now. Give me one second. He's coming in, to, he's doing some work. Hey, Rides, I'm still filming. Do you want to give me another 10 minutes? How's that for timing? He can watch this afterwards. Um, so this one here is, uh, he loves it. I, I, I put this forward to him. This is a beautiful, boozy, whiskey, honey note with rose in it. Easy love. If you're new to Naso Mato, start here. Start here. You're not going to regret it. Just glorious, long lasting, as a going out fragrance, phenomenal. As a date fragrance, phenomenal. As an office fragrance, forget about it. As a as a day to day fragrance. And I feel like this is a special occasion fragrance. This is something, actually, mind you, he comes in and he wears this. You know, this is, so it's not a special occasion working with his uncle, but hey. The next one is also for new recruits. Now, I've, some men have written that they actually love this fragrance for themselves. For me, this is my wife, meaning that she has adopted this fragrance as hers. And, and it's what it does, it's a tuberose note that is just spectacular. For me, I smell this and it is Sandra. Sandra. There is an animalic component, so it's not just this floral headiness, you know. There is all this balance going on glorious fragrance as a date fragrance as a going out as a just a I love you fragrance ugh, narcotic venus is is everything just glorious anyway you recruits strongly recommend that um, I feel that it's a little bit more feminine leaning but again I know that some guys do like wearing it let me move across the next one that I wanted the the, the, the next set and I've got them all lined up you should see them they're like lined up in this little this uh, beautiful row so these are now for semi pros all right, so you've been, in semi-pros I would define as people who've been in niche now for six months plus. Your nose has evolved, you've developed, you're a lot more, comp you're used to more complex fragrances. I would jump straight into Duro. So this was my first fragrance in the Naso Mato. So the first fragrance that I experienced was not ready. I was a new recruit, I came across this and it blew my brain. I didn't know what was going on. I, I thought I was being poisoned in some way. Uh, so I, meaning that I came from aromatics, you know, the designers and straight to here, I'm like, what is going on? I was not familiar with oud. I was not familiar with sort of very pronounced leather notes, you know, deep woody notes. But now, oh, this is magical. This is, this is masculine man, but in a very, oh, it's so complex. There's so many facets to it. I was wearing this again the other day. Just, it's a fragrance that just makes me just makes me happy. I was gonna say it makes me happy to be a man, which is an interesting comment because 
yeah, it's an interesting comment, but it, but it did, it just made, it made me, I don't know, look, I don't want to break it down because it's not a psychology video, um, but it just, it made, but that, that's to define it. It made me happy to be a man. I don't know what that means exactly, other than there is a masculinity in here. I mean, the name itself, Duro, means hard, means strong. Um, I know if you look at some of the, the images related to this from Alessandro, it is a little bit sort of pushing on to the, uh, uh, I guess, of a sexual nature, you know, there is a element to that, um, but it's, it does have a masculine lean. But boys, beautiful fragrance, just glorious, makes you, makes you feel good. Pardon. I gotta take a drink. I gotta take a boys. Semi-pros. I mentioned about on my video that this is the scent for seduction. Now, I had a friend of mine, I won't disclose names, <laughs> other than he's a single man who was, uh, you know, who's just, once he's dating young ladies. Anyway, he said to me, I watched your video and I bought this. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, he is in that semi-pro area. He's done some other fragrances, he's moved up. But I was impressed that he actually jumped into this. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you the text and there wasn't any locker room talk. I'm not interested in that personally, uh, other than he said to me, I was wearing this on the date that I went and she could not stop kissing me. She just, and, she, and his words were uh, that, uh, that she kept like kissing. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to say too much. Anyway, other than it was intoxicating, and he then he wrote, "Thank you, man. Awesome recommendation." So, as a fragrance for, and I and I and I said this about for myself as a fragrance to go out with your loved one, uh, as a fragrance as seduction, as a fragrance that just transmits this incredible energy, incredible energy. Pardon is the one. It, it, it don't overspray. Three sprays, I promise you, as you begin to sweat, this thing will just explode around you. There is an intoxicating nature about it. So I, I'm not saying it's an aphrodisiac, but I am saying that it has potency, it has power to it. Don't know how, but, it, and, but smell is powerful. So smelling things is a powerful thing. Uh, so that's what I found for me. And then I've got my friend who just vouched for that very same thing. Next one is in the semi-pro is now Black Afghana. Most people, when they come to Nasumata, they start here because it's such a popular name. Everyone talks about Black Afghana. Don't go in just yet. New recruits, don't, don't, don't dive in just yet. Try, here, try this as a semi-pro, you'll appreciate it more. The thing that I guess breaks my heart a little bit, and I didn't even make the fragrance, is when people say, I've smelt it before. And maybe, maybe that is true, but not to my nose. This nose has never smelt this before, and I've smelt a number of different fragrances, there is so much going on with this beautiful perfume that just to, to, to dismiss it as like I've smelled that before, I don't know, I, I just think, I don't wanna say, look, I just think it, 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 it's underappreciated. Oh, is it, no, what I mean by that is that it's just so divinely unique. This is something that just, you just need to be a little bit more uh, with, actually I better stop because I don't want to get myself into trouble. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you've smelled it before, that's cool. I don't have a problem. Um, I guess all I'm trying to say is that this is just a divine fragrance. I'm deeply in love with it. I think it's awesome. Um, and yeah, I just, I would recommend it to you. One, one subscriber said that this is his fragrance that he wears, and, it's, and I completely agree to lower your vibrations, to be calm, to be, he actually uses it as his fragrance to go to sleep in. There is something, and I'm not saying that it has narcotic qualities to it, so uh, I know that there is a cannabis note in there or a hashish note in there. I'm not saying that at all, but what I am saying is that the wood components is amazing. Actually, I was gonna say, what I am saying is that this is a divine, incredible fragrance that there's nothing like it. That's my view. I'll look forward to your comments. <laughs> All right, we're going now into veterans. Veterans, I would go here. These were a little bit harder. So first one is white china. It's a bit of a, um, I guess a nod to cocaine. That's the idea of it, that it you know, smells like. I actually put it on here. This is unusual. To my nose, this is unusual. This has so many different components to it. 
there is a floral, but then it's animalic. It has a, not lipstick, but it has this sort of like, I don't know why, for me it's going out. I, I, can, I can picture just, you know, makeup, lipstick, all that sort of stuff. So there's that, the glamour of it, but then there's that, the, what happens after 17 drinks in a bar, you know, you're just a little bit sloshed. And so it has both of those, it has the glamour, but it also has that animalic sort of part that nobody enjoys, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a fragrance. This is awesome as a going out date night fragrance. It is so unique, so complex, so unusual that you, you, you're in this like, I, I love it, but I'm not sure. It, 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 and this is something that I think that Alessandro plays with so well, repulsion, attraction, that both of these have, they're both important, you know? You know, you, when you're drawn to something, but you're not sure about it, white china is the, is the, is the way to go. Did I say that right? China white. I always mix them up. China white. China white is the name. I was drawn to this by, by this beautiful lid. I mean, this is a ceramic lid. It's cracked. It's just, anyway. But as a fragrance, phenomenal. But only for veterans. Just a heads up. The next one is absinthe. I can never say it right. My wife watching this, she's going to be like, what? Absinthe. There it is. As a green, so for those who like Virde from Orto Parisi, this is its earlier cousin who's a little bit more um, refined. So Vitade is in your face. It's, you know, bold, it's, it's musky, but green, but herbal. Whereas this one here, it's, there's a lot more going on. It's a lot more subtle. Great as an all year round fragrance. So spectacular for summer, for winter. I find that for some reason, this works better in winter. As my winter fragrance, there's the greenness, there's an aromatic quality to it. So if you like aromatic fragrances, this is the, um, the 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 what's the word you've now migrated not migrated oh. when you've received your degree this is the next level up there's a word for it i'll probably put it here but this is the next level up for aromatic so if you like your aromatic fragrances then absinthe is spectacular it's not for everybody i've i've shared this with a few because i've i've, I've been in love with it i love this but i've shared this with a few people and people go what? It's almost like when I first smelled Dudo, it was like, why are you trying to poison me? <laughs> why are you giving me this? And so I've realized that, hang on a second, this is, this is really for someone who's a little bit more deeper in niche and can appreciate all the different elements to it. So absence, really enjoy, but you gotta be a veteran. Just putting it out there. The last two, and I need to wrap this up because this is gonna go for too long. I'm gonna do them together. First one is, okay, I'll do this one first. The first one is Blamage. Have a look at, I'll put a link to the video. Uh, it's, a vi it's a movie that's on, um, that is on Vimeo. The person who directed the recent Kuyong when it comes to Orto Parisi video created this movie and it's about Alessandro trying to find the scent to Blamage. Blamage is the happy mistake essentially. And you see not so much his suffering, but you see him creatively trying to unbox this particular fragrance. I love this fragrance. I cannot define it. Some people say that it's a sandalwood fragrance. I'm like, yeah, there's some elements to it, but it's not a sandalwood fragrance. Uh, some people say that it's kind of creamy and kind of, yeah, that, that has that, but this is something that is, but you gotta be a five-star general. Uh, not many people really enjoy this fragrance. It doesn't get a lot of great hits when it comes to, um, I guess, the, the popularity of it. I love this fragrance. I was wearing it the other day. It just makes me happy. It is complex. It is unusual. It is, uh, it is alive. It's vibrant in the sense that it just it's, it keeps me on my toes. But it's a beautiful scent. So it's nothing weird. All right. So I'm not wearing something that I'm just like scratching my head. As a fragrance, spectacular. And the last one. As much as I am a you know, a fanboy of Tony Iommi. Tony Iommi is very mass appealing in the sense that anybody can jump on in with this guy. Um, Fantomas is one of those fragrances that you're deeper in now into niche. Five Star Generals, you've got to get Fantomas. This, would, this is mother's milk for Five Star Generals. You need to have this in your collection. My son, who uh, also, as I mentioned, loves all things perfume, I actually shared this with him a little while back and he, he's like, what a, this is, he is in love with this perfume. He actually recently borrowed it. Um, and he, he, look, it hasn't been, I'm, I've been wearing this. He was wearing this 
there's a lot of liquid in here. Let me just put it out there. It's a, it's an, and, and you don't need a lot. I've been wearing it today. I've been smelling it today. It's interesting. I've been smelling a mixture of Fantomas and Tony Iommi, and both smells make me happy. As I'm like whispering, I'm like, oh, that's one, oh, that's Fantomas. I'm like, oh, that's Tony. So both fragrances, in my opinion, fall in the same category. They are just glorious fragrances that make me happy. Fantomas, as a summer fragrance, there is nothing like it. It is so spectacular. And five star generals, I strongly recommend it to you. Bada bing, that's it. Woo, 28 minutes, oh my gosh. Anyway, cheers to everyone. I look forward to hear, to reading all your comments. I do look forward to seeing what amazing drinks you guys are having. Put in your comments about uh, your thoughts on all things Naso Mato. And uh, I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Mate Talk. Bye everyone. Thank you.